All right, so let's talk about how reference angles work in finding the trig ratio of a general angle. So this is the second page of your guided notes. So let's zoom in on the top there. So the rule is the trig ratio of a general angle is the trig ratio of the reference angle with signs included. So what does that even mean? So let me draw you a picture here. First of all, I'm gonna draw a general angle in standard position. And then I'm going to draw, well, let me draw my angling angle first. Let's say I put it here. So there's my general angle. And then I'm, I'm going to draw where the reference angle is. The reference angle is right here, right? Now, in order to do trig ratios, I need a right triangle because Sokotoa is based upon right angles and right triangle trig. So I need a right triangle that contains the reference angle. And there's only one option there to take a perpendicular from the angle, the terminal side, and to drop it down to the x-axis. That'll pretty much always be the case. You'll drop a perpendicular from the terminal side to the x-axis, not the y, the x-axis, so that you get a right triangle that contains the reference angle. So then any ratios that I set up in this right triangle for that reference angle would also represent the ratios for the general angle. But we'd have to consider the side, signs of the sides. So one way to visualize this is if I were trying to go to a point, this point right here that I dropped the perpendicular from, I would go over some x value and I would go down some y value, right? And my reference angle is right here, right? Now, the hypotenuse of this thing, we're going to call that r. That's the distance from the point that we picked right here to the origin. So now if I have that right triangle now, I can actually take that and set up trig ratios with it. So let's see, if I had the sign, let's call this big thing theta. The sign of theta is the same as the sign of the reference angle. So sine of theta here would be opposite, which is y, over hypotenuse, which is r. Now you might be saying, how is that any different than the reference angle itself? Well, the thing is, this y value here could be a negative number. And when that y value is a negative number, since this r is like a distance to an origin, it's always positive, this would be a negative value for sine. If I looked at the cosine of theta, that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side to the reference angle is x, and the hypotenuse is r. So the cosine, again, the x value would be a negative number because you're moving backwards. The r would be positive, so the cosine would be a negative value. If I looked at the tangent of theta, that's opposite over adjacent. So that's opposite y over adjacent x. Now, in this case, both x and y are negative numbers. So the tangent of this angle would be positive. And then the reciprocal functions would just be the flips of those ratio. Pause the video, write those down, and then we're going to do the problem at the bottom of the page. Okay, so let's look at the problem at the bottom of the page. Terminal side of an angle passes through the point 3, negative 4. Find the six trig ratios of the angle. So, we're going to start by drawing an angle. But actually, we're going to start by drawing x, y axis. And then we're going to draw the point 3, negative 4. So, 3, 2, 2, 2, negative 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. So it's right here, and this is 3, negative 4. Now, I want to draw an angle in standard position whose terminal side lands on that. Now, I can make it a positive angle, I can make it a negative angle, it doesn't matter. Let's make it positive. All right. So, what I'm going to do here is... This is the point 3, 4. 
I'm going to drop that. Okay, first of all, I'm going to mark my reference angle, which is right here. And then I'm going to write that draw that right triangle that contains the reference angle by dropping that perpendicular to the x-axis. Now, since this is the point 3, negative 4, we know the x value is 3. We know the y value is negative 4. So now we're going to use those six ratios that we just did above to build the six trig ratios. But we need the, the hypotenuse, right? Well, the nice thing about this is it's like the Pythagorean triple. So 3, 4, and this would be 5. The r is always a positive number. The x or the y could be positive or negative, depending on the direction they go. All right, so now that we're ready to, to do this, this was the angle, theta. So my sine of theta would be opposite of our hypotenuse. So opposite the reference angle over the hypotenuse. The cosine would be the adjacent over hypotenuse using the reference angle. So that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. Notice in the last example, when we had it in the third quadrant, the cosine came out negative because the x was negative, but here it's positive because the x is positive. The tangent would be opposite over adjacent, so opposite over adjacent. And then the reciprocals would be the flips of those. Now the same sign, right? Because you're still using the same sides, you're just flipping the ratio. All right, so we're going to do more with this in the next video.